Yeah. Thank you again for coming out, Freddy. It's always nice to swap stories with fellow artists such as yourself. Oh, yeah, before I forget, the, uh, the last squirrel that I ended up butchering, I called her up and told her that I'm gonna slit your eyelids open so you don't blink when I stab you in the face. <laughs> that little slut ran screaming down into the basement. Like, have you never seen a horror movie before? You never go in the basement. You have better luck making it out the front door, if any chance at all. So I uh, cornered her down there and, well, let's just say the garage or the basement got decorated. A whole brand new shade of red. <laughs> Man, Freddy, you do know how to make your coffee. Tastes like dark hatred and condemned souls just the way I like it. Can I have you hold for just one second? I have to take a personal call here. Hello, Sydney. I like what you've done with your apartment. Is your refrigerator running? Well, then you better go catch it! <laughs> yes, I know it's not the 90s, Freddy. That joke is a timeless classic. Ah, oh, give me a break. Why don't you shut the hell up? Oh, this is why we don't get together anymore. You start getting all judgmental. I've been away from my children for far too long. Well, thanks for the coffee anyway, Freddy. We'll do this again next month. Alright. Goodbye. Nice hearing from you!